We want every American to have the chance to live and to dream and to thrive and to protect the safety and well-being of our citizens. We're securing our border, building the wall. It's being built right now. Could have been so easy, the wall, if they gave us the money. But they won't give us the money. The Democrats won't give us the money. And I think it's more political, because who — I mean, a wall works, okay? They have drones. They want to give me unlimited money for drones, unlimited money for everything. You know, a drone flying up in the air doesn't help as 5,000 people are charging the border, <laughs> unless you want to take nice pictures of what's happening. So we'll have almost four — I probably believe more than 400 miles built by the end of next year. It's under construction now, and I'm taken from here. We're all over the place. We're taking — Army Corps of Engineers is doing a great job, but we're building a lot of it. It's already started, and it's uh, — a lot of it's being done, and, and uh, it's uh, — it has such a tremendous difference. It's day and night. This year alone, 43,000 miners have been illegally smuggled across our border, providing a lucrative cash flow to some of the most dangerous criminal organizations anywhere in the world. Loopholes in federal law prevent Homeland Security from removing illegal aliens who get smuggled into our country through bad laws. It's our bad laws. And by the way, Mexico, they're really helping us. They just put 6,000 soldiers on the southern border, their southern border, and they just announced they're going to put 16,000 soldiers on our southern border. And it's had a huge impact. It's only been a few days, literally, but it's had a huge impact, and they were great. And I'm glad I didn't have to do tariffs on Mexico. I'm glad. I'm very glad. But we've been trying to get them to do that for 40 years, more. They said for 40 years. And, and uh, you know, I, I'll tell you what, they stepped up. And as I say, Mexico is doing more to help us than the Democrats, who are doing nothing. Nothing. We have repeatedly asked the Democrats to close these loopholes and to save the lives of young immigrants. I mean, they're too busy interviewing people on the Russian witch hunt, on the hoax. If they spent a little bit less time on the Russian witch hunt, which turned out to be a total phony deal — actually, they're the ones that committed the crime, as it turned out. If they spent some time on that, they could solve the loophole problem in an hour. They could solve the asylum problem in an hour. And we'd have no problem whatsoever at the border. They don't want to do it. They want things to look bad. They want open borders. Open borders mean crime, means human trafficking. Human trafficking. Mostly women, okay? Human trafficking. This is like prehistoric, a word like that, trafficking. Who would think? There's more human trafficking in the world today than there ever has been in history. Who would think that? You think of it almost as an ancient term. It's not. Because of the Internet, all over the world, it's happening, mostly women. And the Democrats don't want to fix it. Someday, you'll explain this to me. And I actually think, even from the strictly political point of view, I think it's a terrible thing for them. I hope they — you know, actually, I want them to fix it. I really do. But if they keep going in this path, who — who the hell would want to vote for them? <laughs> but they should take a little time off, and they should go and fix the loopholes and fix asylum and, frankly, coupled with Mexico and what Mexico is doing now and stopping people from coming through Mexico, uh, you would have a border that would be better than it's ever been. And we'll be there pretty soon in any event. And as the wall goes up, every area that we build, we pick the worst areas first. But it makes a tremendous difference. Democrats who refuse to close these smuggling loopholes are effectively supporting and promoting child endangerment and exploitation. And they're making some very, very bad people, the cartel people, rich, very rich. Uh, people are saying they're making as much money or more money with people now as they do with drugs. These are rough people, and they're bad people, and we could solve it so easily. They've got to fix the loopholes and fix asylum. The tragedy playing out on our border is the predictable result of Democrats' twisted obsession with 
open borders policy. They want open borders. You saw these massive caravans of 10 and 12,000 people, 15,000 people in one case. And in those caravans are some very good people. But also in those caravans are some very, very bad people. And they're probably put there by the countries who want to get rid of them, probably. I don't say that. But we were paying those countries $600 million a year. And I cut it off about seven or eight months ago. I said, look, they could stop these caravans. And then I took a lot of heat from Democrats that said, we want to pay them. Well, maybe if they get it right. But they're doing better for us right now. If you look, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, they're doing much better for us right now. We're close to a safe third agreement with Guatemala, which we appreciate. They're doing much better for us now than when we paid them. When we paid them, they were just taking our money and laughing at us. Now they want to, they'll do anything to get that money back. And if they do a great job, I think we'll maybe do that, right? Does that make sense? But 600 million a year we were paying and we were getting nothing but disrespect. And this is for many, many years. Now I took it away. And uh, honestly, they've been, I think, much different. But they would put bad people in those caravans. They don't want killers. They don't want murderers. They don't want people that are criminals. So let's send them to the United States. And they're not doing that anymore. And we're doing some very strong uh, work. And again, with Mexico having 6,000 soldiers at that border, uh, that's a tremendous deterrent, I can tell you. Democrats are solely responsible for the humanitarian crisis because they've refused every single effort to shut off the magnets of child smuggling. Hard to believe. As long as coyotes believe they can use children to evade our laws, children will continue to be endangered. When you come in with a child, our laws are so bad that you have a tremendous advantage. So you get these people, and they give them children, and they charge them for it. They walk in with a child that isn't their child. And because the Democrats have these horrible laws that were horrible many years ago that they should have fixed a long time ago, but they don't want to do it for political reasons. But think of it. If you have a child, it's much easier to come in. And that's why we have so many children who've been so badly abused. And we're taking care of them much better than President Obama took care of them. I can tell you that. Much better. And he was the one that had separation. I'm the one that put people together. And I said, you know, when you put the families together, because separation is so bad, a lot more people are going to come up. And I was right about that. But still, the whole concept of separation is so bad. But again, fixing the laws would solve everything. And they could do it so quickly. It's so simple. They know what to do. They just don't want to do it. If the Democrats have any shred of moral decency on this issue, they must charge immediately charge forward and change our laws. They have to end all child smuggling. We have laws. It would end all of this horrible child smuggling. How do we have thousands upon thousands of children? We have them because the law incentivizes criminals to bring children up and use those criminals to get people into our country. Can you even imagine this? And we're the only country in the world that has this. The only country in the world. And we want to put behind bars those criminals that place children in this kind of danger. Every day, Democrats obstruct these changes. They fight like hell so that we can't make the changes. Every day, they leave laws and trafficking victims. And, you know, we have a, a, a very, very tough rule, law, Trafficking Victims Protection Reauthorization Act. They leave it in place. More migrants are put in harm's way and exposed to abuse and assault by criminal cartels. They could fix that so easy. It would take no time. This lesson can be seen all over the world where the rule of law is eroded. Where it is eroded, the Democrats, even when we had both houses, where we had Congress, where we had the Senate, and we had wonderful congressmen, we had the House of Representatives and the Senate, but we didn't have enough votes because it was very close. We needed 60 votes, and we had 51 votes. And sometimes, you know, we had a little hard time with a couple of them, right? Fortunately, they're gone now. 
They've gone on to greener pastures. <laughs> or perhaps far less green pastures, but they're gone. <laughs> they're gone, Bill. Very happy they're gone. And we have great senators, but we need 60. We have 53 right now. And we had 51. We picked up two in the 18 election. But we need 60, so we need Democrat votes. It's very simple. We needed them before, too. We needed them even more so before, when we had both the House and the Senate. So where the door is open to smugglers and traffickers, disaster always ensues. Nonetheless, Democrats remain relentless in pushing policies to add even more incentives to the unlawful transportation of illegal alien minors across our borders. You have no idea how bad it is, and it could be fixed instantaneously by the Democrats sitting down with the Republicans. The Republicans are all in favor of it, virtually unanimous. I would say unanimous. We could fix it instantaneously. We just need a few votes. We don't need many. We need a few. But they don't want to do it. And you know, one thing I've learned in Washington, I've heard about it for years, the Democrats have lousy policies, and in many ways, they're lousy politicians. But they stick together better than the Republicans stick together. They stick together. They vote in a group. You don't see them going haywire. They may have a plan that's bad, like this. Open borders. They want open borders. They stick. You don't have people going the other way and voting and going out and making speeches about how we're wrong. Uh, they stick together. We have better politicians. We have far better policy. But the Democrats do stick together. And frankly, I give them credit for that. But it's bad for our country. It's very bad for our country. So let me state clearly, my administration will not tolerate — and just, we can't do this. We can't do it. We cannot tolerate the endangerment, abuse, or smuggling of children. And the only way to really stop it is to change the law. And the Democrats can do that immediately. We will stand strong with the courageous heroes of ICE, Border Patrol, and law enforcement. These are fantastic people.